These frogs are amazing and all, but what about the waterfall? Okay, okay, Gorby, we're going. Whoa! Hey, guys, look! There's tons of boys and dart frogs. Wow! Wow! Ooh. Wow! And they're on the move. Where do you think they're going? Well, frogs are amphibians, and they like to be around water. So while the rainforest is a wet environment, a waterfall would be even wetter. You think they're headed to the waterfall? We could follow them and find out. Well, we couldn't be any more lost than we are already. So let's get hopping. These little frogs really stand out in the big jungle. Yes, but so do you. This way or Zaz way? Which way? Which way? I don't know, Nash. Look. Poison dart frogs. Follow the frogs. Follow the frogs. Come on, Polos. <laughs> <laughs> I think they're eggs. It looks like this is where poison dart frogs come to lay their eggs. They're so close to the water. The baby frogs, tadpoles? Right. Tadpoles must drop off the leaves and into the water, where they grow up to become poison dart frogs. Cool! Poison dart frogs are amazing! See, Gorby? I told you we'd find the waterfall. And all we needed to do was follow, follow the frogs. Froga, <sighs> <laughs> froga! Let's go outside. Good idea, Marco. Come on, everybody. Ah, it's so beautiful here, and so calm, and so peaceful. Waddle, waddle. It's just like the rattle in the polo mobile. Only worse, what's making that noise? Hey, you guys, look up. It's a woodpecker. Oh, wow. It's beautiful. Hmm. I think its feet really help it hang onto the tree. Yeah. Two of its toes face forward and two face back so it can stay balanced while it pecks and climb the tree. I wonder how many times a woodpecker pecks wood. We could count. Okay, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It says here that a woodpecker pecks 20 times in a second. I'll time us. Okay, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Stop. Time's up. Wow, we can't count nearly as fast as a woodpecker pecks. So why is it pecking? Is it eating the bark on the tree? Or is it digging for something in the tree? Hey, look! Whoa, it's got a beak full of bugs. That must be what it eats. Insects that live under the bark in trees. Yeah, but how do they get them out? Let's see. Well, what do you know? A woodpecker's tongue is long and sticky, so it can reach deep into trees and pull out insects. I'm having an engineering moment. Polos, back to the polomobile. <laughs> Dicky, so you've made a woodpecker tongue? Right. 
I'm gonna fish out whatever's making the rattle the same way woodpeckers get bugs out of trees with something long and sticky. Ah, uh, uh, I think I got it. My maraca, I was looking for that. Thanks, Willow. Is that it? No more rattle? Only one way to find out. Shake it, Corby! Waddle, waddle! Shake it, Corby! Shake it, Corby! Shake it, Corby! Come on! I wonder how many satellites are in orbit. There are thousands! Whoa! What? Whoa! Ah! The satellite we're visiting and many others like it are machines that have been launched into orbit. They send and receive signals to and from the Earth so that we can communicate with each other. Wow, so Corby and Lily's call had to go all the way up here before the signal got sent to us? Not just their call, everybody's calls. And videos. Look, weather reports. La 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 <laughs> la And, and music. music. So, without satellites, we can't call our friends, watch shows, or even know if it's gonna rain? Wow! Let's see if we can see what's wrong with this satellite. Hold on! Whoa, wow! There's the problem! Oh, the antenna is bent! It can't send and receive signals from Earth if it's damaged. Well, I guess I better go straighten things out. Wait, you mean the antenna, right? You're going to go straighten out the antenna. <sighs> That's right, Chester, the antenna. Oh, good. Just wanted to make sure. Ugh. Whoa! Whoa! Yes, I made it. Great, Marco. Now go over to the bent piece. Ugh. Whoa! Whoa! Phew! <gasps> Now straighten it, then tighten the bolt so it stays put. <laughs> it's stuck! <laughs> yeah, Marco, you did it! Way to push! Whoa. 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 Oof. Uh, I'm okay. Is it working? Corby, Lily! Can you hear me? Hi, Polos! It worked! Yeah, <laughs> all right! Way to go, Marco! We're happy to see you, too, because we've got a big problem. What? We forgot to pack spoons. Last time I ate soup without a spoon, it wasn't pretty. Huh? Oh! <laughs> Message received. We'll bring some. Hey, where's my drill? Wow, did you see Elvora turn its head? I wonder if I can do that. Oh, I can. Easy peasy. <laughs> you turned your whole body around, Gorby. Just move your head. Ugh, okay, I totally can't. How does that sloth do that? Sloths have extra bones in their necks called vertebrae. That allows them to turn their head almost all the way around. Hey, did you see the tamarind? I think it came back this way. No, but take a look at this. Look, 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 look! A hummingbird? Come on! Take a look at what? <gasps> a sloth! A three-toed sloth. It looks like it's smiling at us. Yeah, it does. Is it really smiling? I think that's just the markings on its face. It's so slow. Plus, sloths sleep up to 20 hours a day. They sleep most of the day? And even when they are awake, they barely move. Is it just me, or is its fur kind of greenish? You're right, it is. I wonder why. Maybe the sloth moves so slowly that the green planty stuff can grow on it. 
<laughs> Plants? <laughs> Nothing's that slow. Actually, it says sloths are so slow moving that a tiny organism called algae grows on their fur. Algae are green. Fascinating. So that's why it looks green. What great camouflage. Well, I ran past it three times without seeing it. So it must be hard for predators to see them too. Oh, for sure. Hawks hunt by sight, and so do jaguars. So, if sloths kind of blend into the rainforest and barely move or move really slowly, things that eat them can't see them. Being so slow helps them survive. Oh, we've almost seen so many animals. Hey, what are you looking at? It's a three-toed sloth. <gasps> no way! Why didn't you tell us? We tried. Oh, oh wow. yeah! What an amazing animal! Cool! And we don't even need to run anywhere to see it. Where's it going? Oh, you're not gonna believe this! Once a week, they climb down to the ground to go to the bathroom. They only go once a week? Being on the ground is really dangerous for them. They'd rather stay in the trees. Hey, let's have a sloth race. Whoever goes the slowest wins. Ready? Three, two, one. Slow! <laughs> 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 